Welcome to Android Weekly on Butterscotch.com, the show where we bring you all the Android news that matters to you, or at least to me. I'm Andrew Moore Crispin, and we're here at CTIA 2011. Before we jump in and show you our favorite tablets coming out of CTIA 2011, we pimp Hover.com in an attempt to be able to afford said tablets when they come out. If you're looking to lose your lame and unprofessional Hotmail or Gmail email account, check out personal email from Hover.com. Andrew at AndroidWeekly.tv looks way more professional than LadyKiller1976 at Hotmail.com. And it has the added benefit of not suggesting that I kill ladies, which I don't. Get 10% off by visiting the coupon code you see at the bottom of the screen. In a recent episode, we suggested that pricing for the Samsung Galaxy Tab was going to fall out of the stratosphere. And here at CTIA 2011, we got confirmation of that in the form of pricing for the 10.1 inch Samsung Galaxy Tab. The Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 will retail for $499 for the 16 gig Wi Fi only version and $599 for the 32 gig. In other words, on par with the Wi Fi only iPad 2. This is good news. Not stopping there though, Samsung also announced a brand new tablet, the Samsung Galaxy Tab 8.9, and gave us pricing $469 for the 16 gig Wi Fi only and $569 for the 32 gig. Samsung Mobile President J.K. Shin said the company doesn't believe in one size fits all tablets, and nor do we. Now, in addition to the 7-inch Samsung Galaxy Tab, we have 8.9 and 10.1-inch options. The two new additions have dual-core 1.2 GHz processors and run Honeycomb Android 3.0. For now, the Samsung Galaxy Tab 7 is still frozen with Froyo. Expect a refresh of that model sooner rather than later to meet the same specs as its bigger brothers. Long story short, if you've been holding out waiting for the perfect tablet to arrive, you might want to give these guys a look. I'm thinking about getting off my wallet for this one, and that's really saying something. Now, the official title on this one is pretty lame, and I quote, the T-Mobile G2 Slate with Google by LG. But get past that, though, and you have a pretty capable honeycomb tablet on a dual-core processor. The G2 Slate with Google by LG runs a 1.2 NVIDIA Tegra 2 processor. It's got two 5-megapixel cameras on the back to allow you to shoot 3D images and video. Grab a pair of polarized or anaglyph glasses and you can view your 3D stuff right on the G2. Plug in an HDMI cable to your 3D TV and you can bore people with a 3D slideshow or freak out your friends with 3D video of your first child's inglorious entry into this world. It's also blessedly free of too many LG style tweaks, which means the upgrade path from Honeycomb 3.0 to whatever comes next should be a relatively easy one. This guy's going for $529 if you factor in the $100 mail-in rebate from T-Mobile. Mail-in rebate? Really? HTC, making some of the best built smartphones, is getting into the tablet game. The HTC Evo View 4G is the first HTC tablet to be available to North America. It has the same build quality we've come to expect from HTC. It's thin, metal clad, and undeniably slick. And it comes with a stylus. Get this, a stylus. It's not as bad as it seems though. The stylus is an entirely optional extra, and we're not looking at a POS resistive touchscreen here. In our brief hands-on with the Evo View 4G, its capacitive touchscreen performed admirably. If you do opt to buy the stylus, you get the ability to do markup and annotation on screenshots. That's right, screenshots on Android, imagine. And real-time note-taking. While here at CTIA 2011, we bought a Nook Color and an 8 gig micro SD card to make the best sub $300 honeycomb tablet going. Seriously, look at this thing. Thanks to XDA developer Deeper Blue, it's crazy easy to do, and we'll show you how in an upcoming episode. Well, that's all the news that's fit to Google from CTIA 2011. For full show notes, hit up butterscotch.com. Until next week, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin.